News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green. We take a look at the U.S. indices. Each are trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 255, about 7 tenths of a percent, almost 1 percent for the S&P, or 49 points, 209 points, a little over 1 in a about one and two tenths percent for the Nasdaq 100. The Russell's up three points. The semis are up 70, one and a half percent move there. Training's up 95, six tenths. You've got gold trading back 21 bucks. Silver off 32 cents out there. Lights recruit is up 60 pennies. Natural gas is off three cents. The 30 treasury printed out at 120.27. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, it doesn't show you on this chart. The price is testing one possible level of resistance. That would be its green oscillator and change line. That green oscillator and change line is printing right now at 52.29. We're trading at 52.31. A close above 52.29 is a very bullish outcome. There's no top in the daily ES mini. That would then at least suggest getting back to the most recent highs, perhaps taking them out. The spot volatilities will be the one that will decide which of those would occur. Why? Because it's pushing down towards its 50-day exponential moving average. We're trading right now at 14.10. That 50 days at 13.97. If you see a close below 13.97 today, and that spot by and the uh, S and P is mini trade above the level that I gave for that oscillator and change line, it rally is going to continue. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ likely targeting the 18.495 level. That's its oscillator and change line. You don't see it on the screen, and the reason is because prices held re uh, support, and that was both the top of its daily profile and that trend line resistance. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's trading higher, and it has formed a new profile. Resistance for it is 102.90. If price closed above that, you would get a profile change in trend signal there. That's going to be important for taking a look at gold, which formed a TD9 count top yesterday. It's also formed a new profile, and a close below 21.71 would suggest a move towards 21.09. Now, during the Trader's Edge show, we'll take a look and see where that oscillator and change line is printing. It's somewhere in between there. If we take a look at silver, you've got a uh, new profile that is formed out here. Price trading between 2490 at resistance, 2402 at support. You got a consolidation with inside profiles for lights week crude support at the 7734 level, resistance 7985. And right now you got natural gas trading below the bottom of its daily profile. If it closes below 1.77, that suggests a run back to its recent lows out here. And the 30 year treasury, 30 year treasury testing support out there. That's for Bill, who is short the 30 year treasury. You got to watch the support level at day's end. That's at 120.23. Steve Rhodes with TFN and folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show to drop to start your Tuesday. Have a terrific one. We look forward to catching up with you again soon. Take care now.